Everybody, it's Jake with Buckeye Bushcraft back here again with another video. I'm in the woods this morning. It's a nice cold morning. It's in the high 30s. Got a little fire going for this video and also to kind of warm my fingertips up. The deer and the squirrel are moving really well right now. Saw some nice deer coming in here. So, but what I want to talk about today is something that's not talked about very often when it comes to the outdoors, and that is personal hygiene whenever you're in the field. Obviously, in your normal everyday life, it's good practice to have personal hygiene. You don't want to be the guy walking around stinking. But in the field, a lot of people just kind of let it go for three, four, or five days until they get out of the field, get back to civilization, I guess you could say, and then get a shower and all that good stuff. But there are a few items we can carry with us that will help us keep us somewhat clean while we're in the woods and maintain some level of hygiene. That way, we're not dirtying up our food or you know, if we're cooking someone else's food, we're not doing it with super dirty hands and black fingernails and all that garbage. So you don't wanna be the guy walking around camp that everybody wants to stay away from because you smell so bad. But hygiene is very, very important whenever you are in the field because keeping yourself clean and keep, keeping like an extra change of socks or an extra change of underwear, stuff like that will prevent things like infection. If you get a cut and you're dirty, that cut's probably gonna get infected. It can prevent chafing, which is a big problem with a lot of people. Um, and even the, the if you chafe so bad that you start to scab up, that can also get infected. And also prevents you from getting things like monkey butt, all that good stuff. And staying somewhat clean while you're in the field helps keep morale up. Everybody gets to a point to where they're so filthy and dirty that they're just not having a good time. The only thing they could think about is a shower or a bath or whatever. So I'm gonna move the camera in here. I'm gonna show you guys a few items that I like to carry with me to help maintain that cleanliness whenever I'm in the woods for an extended period of time, like three, four, five days, something like that. If I'm only in the woods for an overnight, not a big deal. But this is stuff that I keep in my ditty bag and my pack whenever I plan on going out for a few days. So before we get into the meat of what I like to carry with me whenever I'm out, we're gonna talk about a few different things naturally that you can use in order to prevent things like chafing or stinking too bad. Obviously smoke from a campfire will help keep down the smell because it's antibacterial. The reason why we start stinking is because bacteria is building up. So taking a simple smoke bath, you know, we're just sitting by a fire will help keep that smell down and keep that bacteria down. That way you're not walking around your camp smelling like, you know, you just crawled out of a cow's butt. You can also take the ashes from a fire if you have any type of chafing. You can also rub that ash on that chafing and it'll help prevent further chafing. Um, also with ashes, you can clean your laundry with it. If anybody watches or has watched my wall tent series, you can see that's how I did laundry. Um, was just taking a couple, you know, scoop full of ashes, putting it in a bucket, putting my clothes in there with water, shaking it up, and then hanging them up. It helps keep the smell down. It's not going to clean them like you just threw them in your washer, but it's going to help keep that smell down. There are certain different types of plants in the eastern woodlands, and you'll have to look it up for your geographical location that you're in, but there are a few different types of plants that you can actually rub on your skin that act as a natural deodorant or soap i guess you could say either one for the most part people are going to be sitting around a fire every single day almost if they're in the field most of the time they're not going to be looking for plants to rub on their body now, obviously with fire too fire produces charcoal you can use that charcoal and bust it up into a slurry and use it with a toothbrush to clean your teeth also what you can do with it is you can make a slurry if you ate something poisonous or you're just feeling sick to your stomach and you can make a slurry out of charcoal and as soon as you drink the slurry you're going to vomit it back up but what that's going to do is number one it's going to try to get rid of anything that's in your stomach that shouldn't be in there but it's also going to line that, your stomach with that charcoal and that's going to absorb any type of you know say you ate a poisonous plant it's going to absorb all of that stuff into that charcoal and then you'll get rid of it later on either by puking or crapping. So before we get into the ditty bag real quick, I want to talk about a couple tools that you can carry with you on your body every day while you're in the woods. One of them, I always carry a pocket knife. This one right here happens to be a Outrider Edition Swiss Army knife. You've seen it in multiple videos of mine. What this comes with is a pair of tweezers and also a toothpick and then a pair of scissors. The tweezers are really useful because you can use it to pick ticks out of your skin, 
pick splinters out, all that good stuff. So it acts as a hygiene item and to get things that are embedded in your skin out of your skin. Also, you have a toothpick. I would never recommend that someone just sharpen up a stick and use the stick to get something out of their teeth, right? Simply because if you get a splinter in your gums, it's gonna really suck and it's gonna be a bad day for you. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. What I tell people is if you have a Swiss Army knife, just always use the toothpick. Now the toothpick works perfect also to clean dirt and things from underneath your fingernails, but you don't wanna be cleaning your fingernails and putting your toothpick back in your mouth. There's so much bacteria and stuff that you do not want that is underneath of your fingernails, especially if they're super dirty. So what I like to do is just keep my nails cleaned up, keep them trimmed up. A pair of scissors that is on the Swiss Army knife can be used to cut skin tags off. It can also be used to maybe trim off a hangnail or trim your nails if you absolutely need it to. So you got a lot of versatility in a small little item like a Swiss Army knife that just fits in your pocket. The other thing that you should always have with you when you're in the woods is a compass. A compass has a mirror on it so it allows you to see certain areas of your body that you can't normally see. So if you're chafing really bad, you know, in between your legs and all that good stuff, you can see how bad it really is if you can't, you know, bend over that far to see, I guess you could say. But you can also check for ticks in areas that you can't normally see if you're by yourself. You can check to see if you have any injuries on your face, all that good stuff. And also it has a magnifying glass which can be used to help observe maybe a small cut or something like that to be sure there is no dirt or any debris inside of that cut after you flush it out with water from your canteen. So this right here is my ditty bag that I keep in my pack. Most of the time I keep personal hygiene stuff, some really small items, maybe a couple fire starting tools, things like that. But this is mainly for personal hygiene stuff. I also keep a small pill box in here. If you watch my EDC video, it's the same one that I take with me while I'm in the woods. So all this is, this is the Camp Craft Outfitters. Um, I don't know if this is called a ditty bag or catch-all bag or exactly what it's called on the website, but this is a very, really, really sweet little bag just to throw all your loose items in. That way they're not rattling around in your pack. So if you want one of these, you can click the link below that takes you to Camp Craft Outdoors. You can pick one up. So what do I keep in here? First off is gonna be a small package of biodegradable wipes. I tell people always carry wipes over toilet paper, simply because if toilet paper gets wet, it's pretty much ruined, okay? You're, you're pretty much done for. And with toilet paper, you can't wash your entire body with it. If I carry some biodegradable wipes with me, I can then wipe my butt. If your sack is starting to stick to your legs because you've been out in the field for three days sweating, you can wipe these areas, you can wipe those areas off with these wipes. And as uncomfortable as it may be for some people to talk about, we all eventually have to take a dump in the woods, right? So I'm gonna use wet wipes as opposed to something like a bandana. I'm not gonna use my bandana that is in my kit and part of my kit that I use for everything else. I'm not gonna use that to wipe my butt and then boil it to disinfect it and then wipe my face, wipe the sweat off my face with it. That's gross. Um, if you're one of those guys, more power to you. I absolutely will never do that. Um, I always carry a separate bandana specifically for hygiene and I never wipe my tail end with it. I only use it to wash my face and that's it. And these are combat wipes is what they're called. They are, what I will tell you is if you do get wipes, make sure they're biodegradable. You don't want to be the dude who just takes a crap on, you know, on top of the ground in the woods and leaves a huge pile of toilet paper or wipes. Don't be that guy. I've gone to camp in areas before and there's been at every single tree there is a freaking turd on the ground with a huge pile of toilet paper. Don't be that person. Bury your crap, dig a cat hole before you have to go. So I tell people to carry wipes, even if you're just hunting or you're just out in the woods for the day, this is not a bad thing to have with you because you never know when you're gonna have a bathroom emergency. And then use biodegradable products. All right, enough about that. Next up is gonna be a simple travel sized Toothbrush and toothpaste. Yes, I can use charcoal from the fire to brush my teeth with. Do I really wanna do that for four days? No, I don't want my mouth tasting like campfire for four days. So what I tell people is bring something like a small toothbrush, a small tube of toothpaste, and even a small bottle of mouthwash. Something as simple as brushing your teeth after being in the woods for multiple days can put your morale through the freaking roof. You would be amazed 
on what this will do for you as far as morale goes. And also it keeps your teeth clean, it keeps your breasts smelling good, all that good stuff. Also, it can help you, you know, if you need to get something out of the back of your teeth, you can't get with your toothpick or whatever, you might be able to get it out with a brush. Next up, I mentioned a bandana. This bandana is not for me to wipe my butt with and then put it back in my bag after I wash it out in the creek. That's a no-go. This bandana is specifically for me to maybe wash my hands and wash my face at the end of the day if I want to. That's all this is used for and obviously has every other use that a, you know, a normal piece of cotton material has. I just keep an extra bandana in this small ditty bag just to have a piece. I tell people to carry a small travel size stick of deodorant because nobody likes being behind someone that smells like a freaking pizza shop. Don't be the dude walking around the woods smelling like B.O., okay? I, that is like one of my biggest pet peeves ever is whenever you're behind someone and they smell like B.O. That is just, for some reason, it's just a huge pet peeve of mine. So this is a Dove uh, bar of deodorant. It doesn't have a, like, it's a pretty neutral scent. It just smells like bar soap is what it smells like. This was $1.75 at Dollar General. And it probably weighs less than three ounces, if I had to guess. But it's nice and small, and it will keep you freshened up while you're in the woods. And I would always tell people to at least, at least carry one spare set of socks to sleep in. That way you can let your other ones dry out or air out. Carry an extra pair of underwear. Because if you start sweating, and it starts stinking, and you know, it just starts to get sticky and musty and all that stuff, there's nothing better than putting on a fresh pair of underwear. Also, you never know, you might get the craps, you might end up crapping yourself. If that happened, it sure would be nice to have an extra pair of underwear because I don't like rolling around with just pants on and with no underwear. I will chafe like crazy if that happens. So, I always carry an extra pair of underwear, maybe an extra pair of socks or two, and then these few small hygiene items. A couple other items that wouldn't be bad to carry would be something like dental floss or maybe the dental picks just in case you really have like a piece of meat or something buried in your tooth and you just can't get it out and it's just aggravating you you carry something like that or even a small um, jar or a small container of some type of chafing powder or baby powder or whatever something that prevents you from chafing Yes, you can use the ashes from your fire. They work great. Whenever you put ashes on an area that's going to be chafing, it's going to burn for the first minute and a half or so. And after that, you're good to go. But it's your choice whether or not you want to use ashes or baby powder. All right, guys, so that is it for what I carry in my ditty bag. I am sure that there is a point or two that I missed in this video, but I think we all pretty much get the memo. This is pretty basic stuff. I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel on this. I'm just simply trying to share information. Maybe this will help somebody out who's just getting into this stuff or whatever. Um, you know, personal hygiene while you're in the field is super important because if you stink, you're chafing really bad and you don't have anything to fix any of it, you're going to be miserable, trust me. Being a woodsman is not always about running and gunning and, you know, being filthy dirty and looking like Bear Grylls does on all of its products. Keep your ass clean while you're in the woods. It's that simple. It's not that hard to do. These few items don't really weigh a whole lot. To me, they're worth their weight in gold simply because I like to stay somewhat clean. Guys, I'm Jake Trent with Buckeye Bushcraft. If you like any of the gear I use in any of my videos, you can check out the links below. One of them is to my Campcraft Outfitters affiliate link. The other one is to my website, BuckeyeBushcraft.com. If you're interested in any type of wilderness skills training, you can check out the website. I've got some classes posted up on there. We've got a class coming up in a month. It's going to be a great class with Tony Powers from Dirtbound Survival and then Paul Hack from Adaptable Survival. We're all going to be teaching it together here in Ohio. So if you guys are interested in any classes, like I said, check out the link to buckeyebushcraft.com i'm jake trent i thank you guys for joining me for this video hopefully you learned something maybe it's stuff you've heard all your life or whatever appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on instagram at buckeye underscore bushcraft i appreciate your guys' views and support i would not be able to do this if it wasn't for you for i would not be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys so you guys take her easy and i'll see you next time thanks for watching